Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. We are getting ready for the top of the hour. But just before we do, we want to get to hear or learn about an instrument known as the French horn and the one, two, threes about how to play it. With us here on the show, we have a young instrumentalist. His name is Rigobert Nick, and he's from the Safaricom Youth Orchestra. Welcome to the show. Thank you so it's much. It's good to have you here. How long have you been with the orchestra, by the way? I've been playing for the orchestra for about one and a half years right now. Wow, and can yeah. I ask how old you are? I'm 17. Oh my gosh, well yeah. done. Thank you. Well done, well done. <laughs> All right, well, um, you're gonna be telling, we'll, we'll be telling you more about the Safaricom Youth Orchestra in a little mm. bit, but uh, this here is the instrument known as the French horn. Yes, it right? is. Right? Yeah. It sits in, is this a brass instrument? Would you say it sits in the brass family? It's in the brass family. Mm -hmm. So basically, the instruments in the orchestra, yeah. the they're divided according to how it's played. Okay. So the brass, all the brass instruments, they're basically, so you use your lips yeah. to vibrate, and uh -huh. then they produce sound which is amplified through the bell. Okay. This. Okay. Yeah. Super cool. Can you play it something for us just so that we can get to hear a bit of what this sound that you're talking about, the vibrations with your lips and, mm. you know, it's coming out through the bell. Can you maybe you can play something for us and then we can dive into uh, talking about the instrument. Sure. I see you putting your hand. Is that to muffle the sound a little bit? Uh, to it help? Or what does that do? Uh, specifically for the French horn, it affects the pitch. Okay. So if I let my hand go, the sound becomes brighter. Okay. But it's supposed to go in. Okay. It's not, to, it's not supposed to be as Super bright. Super bright. Okay. No yeah. worries. Go ahead. That one, right? Yeah. I don't know what the name is. It's called Don't Worry, Be Happy. Don't Worry, Be Happy. Yeah. Nice. So mm. tell me, how long does it take to get to learn this instrument? Uh, it, for me specifically, it took, I took like two months. Okay. Like just to get the fundamentals and everything. Right. But some things like your sound quality and yeah. everything depends on how long you played. Okay. Now, how often you practice yeah right right because now it's it's you controlling your breathing and your blowing through your yeah, mouth and everything and yeah. your vibrations and, and the, the vibrations yeah wow so if someone okay now because we're talking about the one two threes mm. what was the first like music lesson like i imagine you didn't even pick up the instrument you first have to learn your mouth no i didn't pick up the instrument so yeah. in our school uh to teach people like specifically specifically for brass so we first give them a piece of grass Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. And so you, gi you give it. <laughs> <laughs> what? So you okay. give it. So you give it to them. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys picture that site? I'm going to drive to Malim. I'm going to pick up one of them. I'm They're grazing. <laughs> so specifically for brass, uh -huh. you give it to them to, to let's say, understand how, how your lips are supposed to vibrate okay. and how you're supposed to blow. So you give them a piece, a piece of grass and tell them to try spit it as far as, as, far as you can. <laughs> <laughs> so the same way, the same way you'll try to spit it as far as you can, the same way you'll try to start a note. Okay. Here. Wow. So that's, that's how we teach them, like how to, to learn to get a sound. Wow. So I play piano. So I'm 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 looking at this thing and I'm like, at least with the piano you can see the notes, right? There's a scale yeah. and you know this is C D E F G mm -hmm. A B whatever B flat. How do you pick notes on this thing? Uh, so like if I wanted you to play C, how would you play C? It's it's more of a, it's like a taste. 
oh. I have in my lips. Okay. You, you need to get used to it. Okay. So like, let's say, um, it's something you get, you get used to after practicing. Okay. So it's more of a test. You know where and where the note is and how okay. you're supposed to place your lips. Wow. Yeah. So is it is it like a, okay, <laughs> I'm trying to picture this whole Temeng Nyasi story, but like you're literally like blowing, are you blowing as you play? Uh, if I blow, huh? just blow it out. It's, the blowing is supposed to make my lips vibrate. Okay. So without my lips vibrating, no sound will come out. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Um, and you're actually part of the Safaricom Youth Orchestra. Yeah. Uh, when did you join them? I joined them last year. Okay. Around April. Was it hard to get in? Uh, I'd say, yeah, it was quite hard. Okay. So for those who don't know, the Safaricom Youth Orchestra is a, a musical project that was launched by the late Bob Collymore. And it brings together 70 children between the ages of 10 and 18 years from different backgrounds united by music. And for all of the members, this really is an opportunity of a lifetime to, look, to develop into the best musicians they can be. And of course, here with us in studio is one of them. Um, so was this like a dream for you? Like, this is a big deal, right? Yeah, it I it is real. It's really a big deal. Uh, for me specifically, I had before before I even came to play an instrument, I had seen the I had seen videos of the orchestra playing, mm -hmm. and I uh, and it get gained interest in it. Mm -hmm. So uh, in our school, there's a school band. Mm -hmm. So so one of my objectives was to play an instrument because okay. they also do music okay. in school. Okay. And it's and playing an instrument is part of your KCSC exams. Uh, which school is this, by the way? I'm in Lenana School. Lenana School. Hey, yeah. shout out, man. I hope your friends are watching. Yeah. Although they're supposed <laughs> to be in class. <laughs> you revising. Well, yeah, Poleni, <laughs> Corona has messed up things. Eh? Mm -hmm. But uh, it is well. Um, so, okay, you've now been part of some major performances. I have, actually. Mm -hmm. so Where have you played? One of, I'd say, my highlight performance was... So last year, the Art of Music Foundation was had its 10th anniversary, mm -hmm. and it was it was going to celebrate it at Trademark Hotel. Mm -hmm. So it was a it was a concert. It was a really big concert. Uh, there were lights. Everything looked nice. It mm -hmm. was well prepared. Everybody was dressed. So uh, there, well there, we got to play with we got to play with r some really good artists. For instance, there was one called Jimek. Mm -hmm. He's a Polish composer mm -hmm. and uh, Polish composer and conductor. Okay. So he's, he he makes really good music that really speaks to your heart right. and everything. And he's and he's he's always positive and full of energy. And I think that it really makes every everybody in the orchestra really want to really want to do their best. Okay. And you said even in school you're still studying music. So yes. clearly this is, it seems like it's part of your future. What are you, some of your aspirations as far as this instrument and music in general is concerned? Uh, in music, I, re I really want to, I, want, I really want to go pro. Okay. I want to play for an orchestra. Mm -hmm. I possibly see myself in Europe. Nice, playing like for at an the orchestra. Vienna, one of those ones? Yeah. Nice. But before music, I wanted to do business. Okay. Because my dad also does business. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. And how's your family? Are they very supportive of this? How much time do you have to spend practicing, you know? Because then there's juggling school and music. Yeah. So my family is really supportive of it. Although at home right now, I'm really annoying to them. <laughs> <laughs> I practice. <laughs> I practice too much, yeah. <laughs> I practice 24-7. Okay. But I think it's one of those things I ought to do because trying to keep up with the standards of other players in the orchestra. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And for those then who would be seeking to learn an instrument mm. or to join an orchestra, this is a, is a good time, right? This, this season of, of COVID actually yeah. presents some opportunity for them to be able to learn. Yeah. Yeah. I think this, as much, the pandemic has also given us a chance mm -hmm. uh, as players. Now mm -hmm. we practice more. Mm -hmm. As much as we have school, we have more time in mm -hmm. practicing. Mm -hmm. And also, I think this past month, the, we had our auditions, the Safari Com auditions. Okay. So there were some new players. So yeah. how many are you now total? 
Are you still 17? Yeah. Because now some, once you're 18, you graduate out of yeah, the Yeah, you program. graduate. You graduate and then the vacancies left. Okay. That's what they audition for. Okay. Yeah. So how many of the French horn players are there? In are an there? orchestra, we are we are normally four. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you're under pressure. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're not that many. But yeah. um, how did you go about, first of all, also picking the French horn as your instrument? So that if someone mm. is thinking now, which instrument do I want to play? You know, how did you decide on this one? Well, in school, in school, the horn is it's it's the one instrument everybody runs away from. Okay. Yeah. The the it's really hard. It's mm -hmm. really hard to learn, and I think it's really frustrating mm. if if it's your first time trying. Yeah. Trying this, to this get into music. This whole lip vibration thing. It's yeah. tough. Yeah. 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 So it's really tough and everything. So I think I'm I'm one of those people who really li loves a challenge. Come so on. uh me seeing it everybody everybody running away from it i took it as a as an opportunity of being unique you run to it yeah come <laughs> on now that's like a life lesson right there from a 17 year old <laughs> that you know what you sometimes the things in life that everybody else is running away from not because they're bad but because they are hard yeah and for you you figured out a way to stand out by being the one to run through it that is a note there from a 17-year-old that you should take to the bank. Well done. Thank well done so to much. you. And um, as we get ready to wrap up here, I want you to play for us one more thing mm. um, before we call it a day. What are uh, you going to play us now? Uh, it's called Jupiter mm -hmm. from, from a composer known as Gustav Holst. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rigobert, for coming on to the show. It's Thanks been so great much. talking to you. And mm. once again, he's with the Safaricom Youth Orchestra. If you're out there and looking to pick up an instrument, you can take a cue from him and even just learn from him as well. Are you on social media? Do you post yourself playing on social media? I have a page where it's like a community of horn players okay. all over, all okay. over the world. Okay. So that's what I use right now. Okay. It's called in. It's on Instagram. It's called French Horns mm -hmm. with a Z at the end. Okay. Yeah. People can follow that page along, learn more about the French horn instrument. Thank you once again for coming and for your time. And uh, with that said, as I get ready to wrap up for today, let me remind you about using your masks. Now, you voluntarily wearing a mask will certainly help reduce the spread of COVID-19. Masks actually give two levels of protection. The first is that it blocks droplets that could carry germs from leaving the mask when someone breathes out. Okay, just the fact that we're breathing you actually release droplets into the air but second if any droplets do leave the person's mask they are blocked from entering the nose or mouth of other people um, by the masks that they are wearing so the key to all of this working is to wear a mask correctly make sure your mask is tied against your cheeks tucked under the bottom of your chin and pinned pinched rather tightly where it meets your nose that's up here Okay, the goal is to make sure there is full contact between the top and bottom sides of the mask with your face and no gaps whatsoever. Gaps can actually allow those droplets to, that carry germs to leave and enter your masks. Masks are only effective when they're used uh, in combination with frequent hand washing with soap and water or the use of an alcohol-based hand sanitizer please do replace the mask with a new one as soon as it's damp and do not reuse single-use masks and the way to remove the mask is to remove it from behind do not touch the front of the mask and make sure that you discard it immediately into a closed bin clean your hands thereafter with an alcohol alcohol based hand sanitizer or with soap and water for reusable masks, once you've finished using the mask um, for the day, please wash your hands and wash the mask 
for yourself usimpea mtu atakufulie you wash it for yourself immediately after you remove it with soap and in hot water for at least 2 minutes rinse it and hang it to dry um it makes sense to have at least two masks um so that when one is drying you have another one that you could wear for the day so wear a mask and remember as you protect yourself from covid you protect other people as well and your community from covid that's going to be it from me today thank you once again for your company let's meet here again tomorrow for even more full circle with Joyce until then god bless you have a wonderful day happy new month once again and we'll see you soon ciao